Hey guys, so I'm here to tell you about ant killing <laughs> in a safe way. So we came back from a vacation a couple of days ago and there was an infestation of these big ants, big fat ants. So I'm going to tell you what we did to fix that. Um, we tried to vacuum them all up, but I don't even think they died in the vacuum. Um, it was a little bit of a panic situation because there were like a million of them and they're gross. Um, and then we also sometimes get those little tiny ants that um, are just they, like infest everywhere. But we always have this tool that works. And so I wanted to share it with you because it's super easy and it's one way to eliminate chemicals from your environment. It works for other bugs too, I think, um, just because this one ingredient that you may be familiar with already actually will break through the exoskeleton and kill them. And one of the things they do with this particular little concoction that I make is they take it back to their nest oftentimes and it'll kill everything in the nest too. So you're kind of getting rid of it at the, the scene of the crime. And it's so inexpensive and so easy and safe. So I don't have to worry about putting this poison out and worrying that my kids are going to get it. It's just not something that um, maybe if a toddler was going to put it in their mouth or something, but we're past that stage. Um, but even then it wouldn't be as terrible as if they were going to get some other kind of chemical in their mouth, right? So um, we are starting with borax which is a simple ingredient. You can usually find it at the grocery store, depending on your grocery store, um, maybe the hardware store if you don't have it at your grocery store. We use this to make our laundry soap too, our simple laundry soap recipe. Um, and you can use it just straight in your detergent, in your wash as a booster. It's a really good way to boost your, um, your cleaners. Um, it's pretty safe. I wouldn't, you shouldn't eat it or anything, but it's um, fairly safe when, as, when it, talking about chemicals, it's not one of the more dangerous chemicals. Um, all right, what else? Um, okay, so then the next in ingredient is sugar. If you shop at Costco, you probably get your sugar like this, right? In a giant bag. Um, so sugar is a key ingredient. It makes the ants really want the, the, to eat the borax, which is what d does the killing. Um, and then water. And we're just going to do equal parts of each. So all I would do is put one cup of sugar, one cup of borax, and a cup of water. And I would put that on the stove and I would warm it just until it disintegrates, until it blends together and dissolves. And once it's done that, all we do is we put it in a jar. We keep it in that jar all the time, label it ant poison or ant, ant repellent or whatever you want to call it. Um, and then we can dip a cotton swab into that mixture and let it saturate and then take that cotton swab and set it next to where the ants are. So whether they're coming in on the counter, put on the counter, whether they, these guys were on the floor near some molding, we put it there um, and overnight they were gone. So I just wanted to share this with you because I love simple things that work that are safer and make our environments better and, and um, safer for our families. So I hope you enjoy this little tip. And other key is that you can use essential oils like peppermint and that actually repels them as well. So it won't kill them. And they won't take it back to their nest and kill the whole nest with peppermint, but they, they don't like it. So you can spray around the perimeter of your house. A lot of people will even just grow peppermint around the, pepper, the perimeter of their house because it does repel things like mice, um, any kind of moth. Um, most pets do not like peppermint. Most pests. So it's a great option if you're going to use an essential oil to spray around in those different areas. Or again, you could put a few drops on a cotton swab and stick it into pantries or... Uh, closets or wherever there might be a point of entry. So anyway, I hope you enjoy. Make your own. Simple, easy, very, very effective. All right. Have a good one.